Welcome to Chinta Statistics and Data Science. Today, we are going to solve this problem from IIT GMMS 2022, problem number 57. The problem says that, let Xn be a sequence of independent and identically distributed random variables having uniform 0, 1 distribution. And let Yn equals to n into minimum of x1 through Xn, n greater than equals 1. If Yn converges to y in distribution, then the median of y equals, so we are asked to find the median of y. So, it is given that the sequence x1, x2, x3, and so on follows iid uniform 0, 1. And n is n into yn, sorry, yn is equals to n into minimum of x1 through xn. And given that yn converges to y in distribution, right, this is important. That means, that means that the, the distribution function of yn is actually equal to the distribution function of y at all the points y where the function of the the function the distribution function of y is continuous at all points where the distribution function of y is continuous right so let fn be the cdf of yn and fy be the cdf of the random variable y so fn of y it is the cdf the distribution function of the random variable yn this it is nothing but probability yn less than equals y right so it is n into x order 1 less than equals y. x order 1 denotes the minimum of x1 through xn. So n into x order 1 less than equals y, which means that probability x order 1 less than equals y by n, right? So now it is 1 minus probability x order, a, x order 1 greater than y by n, right? We're just negating that. It, x order 1 less than equals y by n is nothing but 1 minus probability x order 1 greater than y by n. Now, since the minimum x order 1 denotes the minimum of the random variables x1 through xn, so if the minimum is greater than this thing, this quantity, that means each of them, x1, x2 up to xn, each of them is greater than yn, right? So this means that x1 is greater than yn, y by n, x2 is also greater than y by n, and, all, and so on, xn is also greater than y by n. Now, since they are iid, therefore, this thing is nothing but 1 minus 1 minus probability x1 less than equals y by n whole to the power n, because each of them just separating out because they're independent and identically distributed. So it is nothing but 1 minus 1 minus fx of y, of y by n whole to the power n. This thing, fx denotes the CDF of the random variable x, right? The, so fx, that means the distribution, the, the sequence of xi, which follows the uniform distribution. So that thing. So fx is basically the CDF of x, which is 0 if x is less than 0 x if x lies between 0 and 1 and 1 if x is greater than equals 1. So fn of y is actually nothing but since we know fn of y, fn of y, this fn of y is nothing but this thing. We have found out fn of y, that means the CDF of the random variable yn in terms of the CDF of the random random variable x, right? So 1 minus 1 minus fx of y by n whole to the power n. So ultimately it's nothing but 0 if y is less than 0. 1 minus 1 minus y by n whole to the power n if y lies between 0 and n and 1. If y is greater than equals y n, n. If you are getting confused that how did we actually find f1, fn of y, it is nothing but that we've actually plugged in the value of this. So basically f y, fn of y is actually this, right? This thing. And if and we know the fx of this, fx of x is actually this thing, this thing. So basically, we have actually put y by n in terms of x here. And just and we just see what happens. So basically, we have we found the case-wise analysis. This this thing, this case-wise. So if n of y is zero, if y is less than zero, if y lies between zero and n, it's this thing. And if y is greater than equals n, this thing, right? Just plugging in y by n, this y, this thing. Just plugging in y by n in this in this function. In in terms of x, in in place of x, replacing x by y by n, we get this thing. This ultimately we get the function f n of y. Now. Limit under the effect of limit, limit and integral infinity, fn of y is actually 0 if y less than 0, and 1 minus e to the minus y if y is greater than equals 0, right? Because see, if n is greater than, if n is tending towards infinity, this part, this particular limit is actually, this particular limit tends to 1 minus e to the minus y. 1 minus e to the minus y, right? We know that, this thing. And obviously, n, it's infinity, so y, this function is never 1 actually, like, because for one, this has to be greater than equals infinity then, because it's never going to happen. So ultimately, the function is 0 if y is less than 0, and 1 minus e to the minus y if y is greater than equals y. Now, 
that means this is actually the function of the random variable y because now because we know that if y n actually converges in distribution to y so limit intending towards infinity f n of y is actually f y of y right but all points y where f is continuous so that means y has this distribution if y has been has the same this cdf of y is the same form now we can see that this is actually the the exponential distribution right exponential with mean one you can see that so let m be the median of y that means if m is must be f of m must be half so one minus e to the minus m is half that means just solving for m we get ln2 natural log of 2 so 0.693 is the median of y as soon as we got the distribution function of fn and taking limit we get the distribution function of y and from there we can easily find the median of y right we can easily find the median median of y so it's actually uh, we get that it's 0.693 so we found out the limit of the so the, the median of the random variable y so it was actually a very easy problem the only thing we need to do was we needed to do was that finding the distribution function of y n and just taking limit over that to find the distribution function of the random variable y and then after that media calculating the median is very easy so there you have it the solution to this problem so do like share and subscribe to the channel for more exciting problems see you till next time